Yo, what's up guys, Sammy here, and doing a tutorial requested by this guy right here. He wanted me to do, um, a slow-mo twixter. Sorry it's a bit late, but hey-ho. Um, open up your uh, Adobe After Effects. Uh, quickly. And then you want to import your clip. Go away. Um... And then when you import your clip, drag it down to this little shape thing there. And you got your clip. I'm just going to shorten it. To split it, you want to hold Control Shift and plus D. That splits it. There we go. Right. Uh, now you want to go on your effects and presets and type Twixter or just type Twix that's what I do and now you, like, you want to make sure your project and your video frame rate if mine is 29.97 is exactly the same as this one here yours might be 59.94 or whatever so change that mine's perfectly fine so I don't need to Right, now you want to go to the point where you want it to slow motion. I'll go back one frame, click the stopwatch that says speed here, click it forward one frame, and now you can slow it to whatever you want. I'm just going to do one so that you can see where it's slow. Um, and if if you realise that you've run out of frame, like you know you run out of timeline frame here, it just blanks out. You want to right click it on time, and then and, and, uh, enable time remapping, and then you can stretch it out. See, carries on. I'm just going to do it to right here, like that. And then when you want it to stop, you press this down arrow. No, you don't. You go on the clip and press U, and your Twix is here. So speed still here. Click it once. Click it once forward frame, and then change that to 100 again. And then the rest of it, it'll just be normal. So I'll preview this for you. There we go. Obviously the audio is off because it's you know, been slowed and messed around with. But yeah, the more frames you have, you see all this distortion here. All that. The more frames you have, it the less distortion you'll have. So keep that in mind. So if you've got like a camera that's 59 or 60 frames or whatever, it'll be a lot smoother. But yeah, that's basic Twixter. You can add colour correction if you really want to. Like looks or whatever. Ugh. You can choose whatever you want. Looks too bad. Okay. And then, yeah, that's about it, really. So if you want to render it, you just where it's going to stop, stop, see there. Split your clip. And say, go to composition settings. Make sure your frame rate is exactly the same as your clip, like normal. And if it, make sure the the width and the height is the same, no, 280, no, 1280, sorry, by 720. And then you want to change your duration of your time to the same duration over here. So mine's five no zero five. Eighteen, yep. Yeah. So now it your clip will be just in the timeline. So now you want to go to composition, add to render queue. Um go on output module. Set your format to H point two six four. It's the best quality I reckon it's 
really small um, size and stuff and you want to make sure you click this audio output people say that oh where's my audio gone and stuff so make sure you click that because your audio will be there and press OK and output wherever you want to output to obviously um, you don't really need to change your render in settings here unless that's different but it shouldn't be anyway but yeah and then you want to press render uh, tip is to hold oh no just click caps lock because it makes your rendering a lot faster not obviously majorly but it does because it stops your the your like what's it called this bit that's been previewed stops it uh, so it uses less RAM for your computer So I'll show you the clip when it's done. Uh, that's done. Made a pretty noise. Right, go to wherever you saved it. Uh, I think uh, I should have saved it somewhere. There it is. Oh yeah. that was your Twixer tutorial. Cool. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like and subscribe. Cool. Cheers. Bye.